my channel. My name is Sam and on today's video I'm going to be doing part three to my Swedish haul. I am so excited for this package as I am for every package but specifically because my friend Alma and I, if you haven't seen the previous parts I'm going to be linking them right here or here somewhere up here. Um, you have to see those first just so you get a little bit of an idea. I mean you don't have to because I'm going to explain it right now but you can. Let's just get to the point. My friend Alma and I met online. We met on a Facebook group for a Kathleen Lights fan club situation and we became super close very quickly. And ever since we have been sending each other packages for Christmas, um, we've done it how many times? Well, this is the third one. So we've done it for three years. Has it been that long? I don't think so, I'm shocked. But we always do it around Christmas. And the first time that she sent it, it took maybe like, I'm gonna be lying right now because I don't remember exactly how long it took. Oh no, I sent her the first package and it took five months to be delivered, five months. And then she sent me one around the same time and I got it before she got hers. It only took like two weeks. So obviously they're the superior country. Um, and every time that we send each other something, I'm trying to test out how long it takes. But since we always do it around the holidays, I feel like that's not a, true experiment so this time around she sent it obviously in the middle of the year and i haven't sent hers yet because i'm waiting for a couple things to come in but i'm going to be updating you because i know everybody's super invested in this but i'm gonna put it in the description box once i ship it and she receives it just so we know a timeline on how long it took for her to get my package because this one only took i think barely three weeks and that's freaking good. She didn't even do any like priority or anything. She just like sent it and hoped for the best. And it got here and I am so excited. Every time I get one of her packages, I get super hyped because man, she's so far. <laughs> she's so far and I have something that she touched and she's so far away and I haven't really met her in person. So it just makes it like a cool experience. I don't know. I don't know if any of this intro makes sense, but um, hi, how are you? <laughs> Did I even say that? I don't think so. It's been um, a hard week, needless to say. I received this package like three days ago, but I just couldn't get myself to set up the camera and film because I was just going through a lot, like a lot. So I hope you're having a better week than I am. Definitely this cheer me up a lot. I actually wanted to share the card that she wrote. Um, I'm sure she's gonna be okay with it. But it says, hi Sam, I hope you're well. If not, I hope this package will cheer you up, which is like, what the heck? I was perfectly fine when she shipped this. I mean, I don't know if I was, but how did she know that I was not gonna be okay? It's just like, it blew my mind. I saw this and <laughs> my mouth was literally like wide open. I was like, <gasps> because yes, I have seen all the items already. I wanted to send her like a quick little snap so she could see my reaction and I didn't wanna have, make her wait so long. So yeah. Um, anyways, she said, it's a big one because I had to fit both the shirts and some goodie beats for you. Let me know what you think of the real tea. I sent you two of my favorite ones. All the love, Alma. I think it's so funny that she says it because I don't know when we started talking about this whole tea situation, but she mentioned how my tea was fake. I think I like took a picture of my breakfast or something. And she said, what is that? Like, that's not real tea and it's stuck. So ever since she's been saying like, next time I send you something, I'm gonna send you the real tea. So she did send me this too. And I feel like I'm gonna love them like a hundred percent because one of them is well, I don't know exactly what it says, but I can make out that says passion fruit and I do like passion fruit tea a lot. It's also pink. I like anything in the pink container because um, I don't know, it's a good sign. And then this one, I don't know if I'm able to tell which one it is. I think she did text me saying which one it was, but I don't feel like looking. Um, but can we talk about how cute these boxes are? Should I open one? Just for, um, you know, she's and Julio's. Let's see. I'm definitely gonna be having this on special occasions when I miss her and I wanna feel closer to her. Wow, literally broke the whole thing. Oh. Literally could have just done that. But they're so cute! They're literally pink. Like, I'm sorry. That's already so adorable. He has like little flowers. Can't really smell. Let's see. It smells good. I'm excited. I am going to treasure this for the rest of eternity. And let's see, maybe if I open this one, I'll be able to tell which flavor it is. Uh, don't you love my haul videos? 
I know they're very entertaining. Oh, okay. This one. I can't really. Can't really make out what this is, but it smells good. And obviously everything is in Swedish, so I can't really understand what it says. But I am very excited about the tea. Very, very, wow, my hair looks crazy. I fell asleep with wet hair and it's just like weird now. Um, okay, so that was the tea. And then the shirts, it's because she was doing like a, she was like cleaning out her closet and she posted this one. Actually, I don't know which one she posted first. Maybe this one? She posted this one. And I told her, oh, I want it, I want it. And she seemed it for me. It's a shirt from the 1975. I don't know if I've shared this before, but I really love listening to their music. I love them for years now. I was in high school, I think, when I first started listening to them. And I actually was able to buy tickets to go to their concert last year with my best friend, Linda. And the pandemic hit and it got canceled. It did not get postponed, it got canceled. And it was already a miracle that they even had a show here because, I mean, <laughs> they just don't come here. And I was very excited and then I got sad. But I'm very excited about this shirt. I don't even know why she said she didn't want it. I think because she just didn't use it. And it's for my favorite song, If You're Too Shy. Let me know, I forget sometimes. But yeah, so this is the main reason why she sent me something very very cute and then she had this one which i thought it was so funny she sent me a picture wearing it it's like super huge it says wake up and it's very very large definitely an oversized shirt because this is a size small and i feel like it's huge and it's very heavy um she did like a little picture trying it on and he looked so big of her so i want to be i'm not gonna try it on for this video because i don't feel like changing it right now but I'm definitely gonna send her a picture wearing it and <laughs> so we can compare where it like, you know, ends for me and where it ends for her because I am way taller than her. So that's gonna be really fun. And then I'm going to be doing a little um, testing. I don't know which one should have first. So she sent me two chips and I am very excited for them because I love chips. I love chips so much like it, it's bad it's bad so this one um i don't remember which one that is but this is how it looks i can't believe she sent me chips from there it's crazy i love the texture <laughs> you know what i'm saying though and then this one's this one's i'm sure is salt and vinegar so i'm definitely excited about trying both of them uh, actually let me just try them now I'm gonna open this one, a little ASMR moment. Maybe I should just cut them instead of struggling. Okay, so I just opened it a little bit. Oh, they look delicious. <gasps> they look so good. I wanna dirty my whole hand. Ooh, I can smell the, literally dropped the whole thing. So cute. Mm. Wow. This might be the best chips I have ever tried. Five years later. I need to stop. This is the bad thing about being obsessed with chips is that once you have one, you just cannot stop. So I'm just gonna close this so I can try out the other ones. The other ones. Literally, best chips I've ever had. If I had to compare them, they're a little bit like the same texture as the... Oh, I can't remember the name. I'm gonna put a picture right here because I can't remember the name right now. 
It's the same texture as those, but the taste is just so, I don't know. It's, it's just good. It's just really good. Now I'm going to try this ones. I don't know. I really have no idea what to say. I just know that these are her favorite chips. So, oh, a bunch of chips just fell down. I mean, obviously it travels so far. It literally just like got mixed around for a long time. Oh, it smells strong. Is this like pickle and something? It's delicious, but I don't know. It's kind of sweet. You know what? If I have one of this, if I have one of this with one of this, so. You know what's the best part? Steven doesn't like salt and vinegar chips. So I'm gonna tell him both of them are salt and vinegar and I'm gonna be able to have both of them. Superior chips. Honestly, <laughs> I'm gonna be sad. I'm gonna be sad to eat all of them because then I'm not gonna have anything left. Oh my God, I made a mess. Okay, that was just delicious. Like. That was so good. I literally want to keep eating them. But she also sent me gummies. I'm pretty sure it's gummies. Yeah, gummies. This one and this one. This one's like it has a lot of sugar. So I'm going to try this one first. And then I'll try this one. Um, it says cool, cool cola. And then this one, hal, yeah. No. I was attempting to um, speak another language. Let's just open this up. And I'm glad I did the chips first because now this is gonna be like a good cake of sweet. So let's try this one. Oh, it has a little, what is this? A skeleton? This is like Coke. I love it. This is the last thing I'm gonna be trying. I think I'll do a ranking of what I like the most. So far, I like everything, but I wanna do a ranking regardless. This one, I don't know what um, flavor it is, but it also has a little skeleton shape, which I think is so cute. So let's try. Hmm. It's just hard to chew. about this one this is kind of weird let's try one more okay so this one is not my favorite it's not bad but i'm not obsessed with it i literally still have some stuff in my teeth one second please salt and vinegar Champion literally gets a hundred points. <laughs> second, oopsies. Second is other chips that I don't know what it says. I could try to translate it, but why would I do such a thing, you know? Third, the Coke gummies. I don't know if they're Coke gummies, but that's what it tastes like to me. And then last, unfortunately, this one. 
not my fave, but like I said, not bad. I don't know what it tastes like. It's like a weird unknown taste. I think that's what's throwing me off the most. But other than that, obviously love everything else. I'm really curious to try this tea. I will be trying it out and send it to her privately when I finally do it because I want to post this video already. But yeah, this was everything. I'm sorry if it was too short or too long. <laughs> I'm sorry if this wasn't the perfect length for you, but I just wanted to show you the goodies that she sent me. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and you come back next week. I know I used to say that I post on Thursdays, but now I just want to make it a... I post every week just so I don't have you like waiting for a day and then I'm not able to post because of work or whatever. So just come back next week and you're going to have a new video. If you subscribe and turn on your post notifications, you'll be notified and you won't have to be wondering where the heck I am. So yeah, thank you so much. I hope you have a great day and thank you again, Alma, for sending me all the stuff. I love everything, of course, and I will be sending you pictures of that shirt on me. <laughs> Bye, everyone.